Hello everybody and welcome back today I'm going to show you how you can use Horizon Hacked Client for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So to do this I'm just going to load into a world and I'm going to show you everything you need to know to do everything you would ever want to do with this hacked client. Now if you want to actually know how to install this and stuff like that, I have a separate tutorial on that which will be linked in the description. Anyways, first things first, um, we'll start off with the basics, we'll start off with this menu over here. Um, so this menu contains all the hacks and we'll go over it in a second, but first off, probably more important, is how do you actually pull up the menu? Well, for that, you want to open up your chat, just like this, by pressing enter or slash, and then you want to type dot, bind, and then click GUI, just like that, and then whatever key you want to bind it to. In my case, I have it bound to the Y key. Then you can hit enter, and as you can see, Ryan says the click the key bind of click GUI is now Y. So then whenever you exit this and now press on Y, this menu will come up. And this menu is probably what you're gonna be using most. Here it, it literally contains all of the hacks, and most of them should probably be pretty self-explanatory. Um, as well as the fact that in the bottom left you oftentimes get a little explanation of what it actually is. So X-Ray, it allows you to see certain blocks easier. What does Bone ESP do? It's Bone ESP. What does Fast Eat do? Hmm, it probably lets you eat faster, right? Um, so you can also do different things, for example, a watermark. Um, sometimes it'll be turned on or off. Um, so I can escape from here, and by pressing Y, by the way, again, you can remove the menu. Um, but you see that menu in the left? Um, I can turn it off by clicking on Tab GUI. That'll be gone. Um, so you, you can do stuff like that as well. Um, so that's basically that menu. It, here are all the big hacks you're going to need. And now another feature that Ryan actually has is the fact that there are commands. And um, these commands will allow you to do things. Now the sad thing is, is that a lot of these commands don't work on servers. Sometimes they'll work on realms, but most of the time they'll only work in personal worlds. Well, they will work in multiplayer worlds, but not on big servers or, servers or anything. By once again opening the chat, and then pressing dot help, just like this, you will get every single one of the commands there are. You can scroll up and down, and here you'll see all of the commands. Um, and I'll go over three of the most important ones in a second. Um, however, um, I'm not going to go over all of them. Yeah, and so, for example, um, let's go, let's um, take bind, for example. We just use that. So, we know that you can type in dot bind and if you literally only type in the command like this it'll say it'll tell you how to use it so the usage of this is dot bind then whatever module you want so in our case it was click gui a minute ago and then the key you want to bind it to and that works the same way with for example dot xp i can type that in and then it'll tell you how to use it yeah so um, basically, now I'm going to go over three of the most important ones. Starting off with, wrong button, dot .give. Yeah, so dot .give um, works the same as slash give, except you give it to yourself always. Yeah, so dot .give, um, for example, um, a netherite chest, chest plate, and then I can go like 10. There we go, and now successfully given item, so I now have 10 netherite chest plates. Oh, I forgot I had a data pack on, which makes you stack unstackables. Um, totally not on purpose, self-promotion, but I make data packs and texture packs and stuff. I'll leave those in the description. But basically, I just gave myself 10 netherite chest plates. Yay! So the second one we're going to be going over is the dot enchant command. 
So first off, you just need to have whatever item in your hand that you want to enchant. In this case, it's just going to be a stick. You can hold a sword, um, a piece of leggings, whatever, whatever you want. Um, and then you just want to go ahead once again over to the chat and type in dot enchant. Just like this. Then you want to type in if you want to remove or add to the enchantment. In this case, add. So we're going to type in add. Then we want to type in whatever enchant enchantment it is. So in this case, that is knockback because I want a knockback stick, and then what level of knockback? I want a knockback 200 stick. Great, so we can now click on enter. There we go, and stick knockback 200. That's cool. Um, I don't see any villagers here. Usually there's a bunch of villagers walking around my redstone testing world. However, not today, so we'll spawn one here, and as you can see, it, it goes quite far away, doesn't it? Um, right now they're just disappearing, which is probably a bug to do with the fact that it's literally knockback 200, but um, you guys get the idea, right? For the kit command, you want to type in dot and then kit command, and then you can type to choose different types of kit commands. So that can be um, legit, fair, or unfair. Like that we can go unfair and now we have gotten a shulker box with a unfair kit for us to use as you can see this is everything that you would need all max enchanted with 32,767 levels which is um that's pretty crazy so i can show you the other types so dot kit com command fair and that just gives you a, the regular kit um, so that's everything just max enchanted so it's still slightly fair and realistic um, and then there's another way of using the kit command and that is once again dot kit co command and that is in front of legit um, fair or unfair you can put a C so if I put C unfair um, instead of the kit coming in a shulker box, it's going to come in a chest. Um, and the chest also has Curse of Vanishing, um, but it's not lost on death. It's just how it works. You know, it, it's just to give the chest the enchanted glint um, so that it looks cool. Yeah, but basically, when you, once you place the chest down, um, as you can see, beautiful. Um, now, I have been doing all this in creative. <laughs> uh, have you doing all this in creative but it also works in survival um, and this menu over here is this is gonna work on all servers however you will get banned and it is obviously not allowed to use this on any servers so um, don't use this on servers because you will get banned and it's just not fun either way for you and for the people who now are um, are at a disadvantage um, the menu will also work in personal worlds, multiplayer, and realms. Um, once again, no hacking without the permission of the owner, of course. And um, these dot commands, um, most of them will work for realms, and all of them will work for personal worlds and multi and personal multiplayer worlds. However, none of them will actually work for servers. Anyways, um, that was basically how to use. Um, Horizon hat client if you have any questions whatsoever make sure to leave those down in the comments below but for right now thank you ever so much for watching and i hope to see you again in the next one bye bye